Hi guys, Rajesh is here with another video on easy math. Today we are going to learn about the equations of angular bisectors of two straight lines. First, before discussing that, for proving that, we need another concept that angular bisectors are equidistant from the two straight lines. As you can see in this picture, there are two straight lines, LL dash and PP dash. And here the straight line AA dash is the angular bisector of these two. A A dash is the angular bisector of these two. Now we have taken, let's take any point on the angular bisector and let it be Q and draw perpendiculars from other two straight lines to that line. You'll get X Q and X dash Q. Now let the angle made by the angular bisector with the other lines is theta. And let the intersection point be O. And here as you can see q dash o and x dash q and x q are the ang are the perpendiculars to a point on the angular bisector now what will happen is that these two are perpendicular right means these are these are nothing but the right angle triangle there are two right angle triangles o q x and o q x dash now, if we take the sine of the triangle, what will we get? Now, from the triangle OXQ, sine theta is nothing but the opposite side by the hypotenuse. Opposite side is nothing but QX by hypotenuse is OQ. What will you get? QX. QX will be, if you send OQ to the other side, it becomes OQ into sine theta. QX is nothing but OQ into sine theta. Similarly, in the right angle triangle OX dash Q, sin theta is nothing but QX dash by OQ means QX dash is nothing but OQ times sin theta. That would be equation number 2. Now from equation number 1 and 2, as you guys can see QX is nothing but OQ sin theta and QX dash is also OQ sin theta. So QX is equal to QX dash. Qx and Qx dash are nothing but the perpendicular distances from the other two straight lines to the point on the angular bisector. So angular bisector is equidistant to the two straight lines. Any point on the angular bisector is equidistant from the two straight lines. So angular bisector is also equidistant. Now let's go to our main theorem. Equation of the bisectors. Theorem. The equation of the angular bisectors of the straight lines a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0. Let it be equation number 1. And a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0. Let it be equation number 2. The angular bisectors of these two straight lines are given by a1x plus b1y plus c1 by square root of a1 square plus b1 square is equal to plus or minus either plus or minus a2x plus b2y plus c2 by square root of a2 square plus b2 square. Now let's see how can we prove this. Okay guys, as you guys can see in this picture, there are two straight lines. A1x plus B1y plus C1 is equal to 0 and A2x plus B2y plus C2 is equal to 0. As you guys can see here we have two angular bisectors, right? We can have two angular bisectors. One bisects the acute angle and another bisects the obtuse angle. If two straight lines intersect, there will be two angles in between those straight lines. One will be acute and another one will be obtuse. As you guys can see, this is acute and this is obtuse. Or if those two straight lines are perpendicular, then you will not have acute and obtuse, you will have just right angles. As you guys can see here, now P H comma K or P X comma Y is any point on the angular bisector and let PL and PM be perpendicular to the other straight lines. Now let's prove that. Proof. As we guys discussed before, angular bisectors is equidistant from the two lines, right? Now let P X comma Y be the point and point on the angular bisector and it is equidistant from the lines equation number 1 and equation number 2 means a1x plus b1y plus c1 and a2x plus b2y plus c2. Now what is the formula for the perpendicular distances between the two straight line? 
between a point and a line. The perpendicular distance formula is nothing but modulus of a1 x1 plus ax1 plus by1 plus c by square root of a square plus b square. If the equation of the straight line is ax plus by plus c and the point is x1 comma y1. Here equation is a1x plus b1y plus c1 and the point is x comma y. So you should replace x with x and y with y. Means no need to replace anything. They will be the same. You will get a1x plus b1y plus c by square root of a1 square plus b1 square and it is equal to modulus of a2x plus b2y plus c2 by square root of a2 square plus b2 square. Now, the square root is actually if we take a square root, we will just take the positive values. If they ask the negative values also valid, then we will take the negative values. But generally, if we take a square root, we will take just positive values. So, the only possibility for getting a negative value is the numerator. So, you can shift the modulus to the numerator. You will get modulus a1x plus b1y plus c1 by square root of a1 square plus b1 square. It is equal to modulus a2x plus b2y plus c2 by square root of a2 square plus b2 square. Now here, according to inequalities, according to the properties of the modulus function, if modulus of a is equal to modulus of b, then that implies that if and only if a is equal to plus or minus b, a can be either plus or minus b. Because here if you have modulus a, right, if a is plus b, then here you will get b and here also b, both are equal. And if a is negative b, then here you will get modulus of negative b, which is nothing but b, which is equal to b. So it is possible for both positive b and negative b. So here also you can have positive or negative on the left side. On the right side, so you will get a1x plus b1y plus c1 by square root of a1 square plus b1 square is equal to plus or minus a2x plus b2y plus c2 by square root of a2 square plus b2 square. These are required equations. Okay, we have mentioned these are the required equations. Because here you have plus or minus means you can take both of the values. If you take plus, you will get an equation. If you take negative, you will get another equation. Okay, guys, this is for today's video. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you're not, comment down below why you haven't. If you have any doubts, comment down below. I'll answer them in the next video.